guys, welcome back to my YouTube video. Today I'm going to be reading Gangsta Granny Chapter 3 and it is Plumbing Weekly, so let's start. I can't find Plumbing Weekly, Raj, said Ben. It was the next Friday and the boy had been scoring, scoring the magazine shelf of the local news agent shop. He couldn't find his favourite publication anywhere. The magazine was aimed at professional plumbers and Ben was begged by pages and pages of pipes, taps, cisterns, bull cooks, boilers, tanks and drains. Plumbing Weekly was the only thing he enjoyed reading, mainly because it was crammed full of pictures and diagrams ever since he had been old enough to hold things. Ben had loved plumbing when other children were playing with ducks in the bath. Ben had asked his parents for bits of pipe and made complicated water channeling systems. If a tap broke in the house, he fixed it. If a toilet was blocked, Ben would have dis wasn't disgusted. He was ecstatic. ecstatic. Ben's parents didn't approve of him wanting to be a plumber, though. They wanted him to be rich, famous, and to get to their knowledge. There had been, had never been a rich and famous plumber. Ben was good with his hands, and he was rubbish at reading. He was absolutely fascinated when a plumber came around to fix a leak. He would watch in awe as the as a junior doctor might watch a great surgeon at work in an operating the theatre. But he always felt like a disappointment to his mum and dad. They desperately wanted him to be the full fulfill of the ambination they had never managed to become a professional ballroom dancer. Ben's mum and dad had discovered their love of ballroom dancing too late to become champions themselves. And to be honest, they seemed to prefer sitting on a bum watching it on TV to actually taking part. As such, Ben tried to keep his passion private. To avoid hurting his mum and dad's feelings, he stashed his copies of Plumbing Weekly under his bed and he had made an arrangement with Raj. So now every week the news agent would keep the plumbing magazine aside for him now that now though he couldn't find it anywhere ben had been had searched for the magazine behind carriage and heat had heat and even look underneath the lady not an actual lady i mean the magazines all day called lady all to no able. Raj's main store was madly messy, but people came from miles away to shop there as he always brought a smile to their faces. Raj was halfway up a step stepladder, putting up Christmas decorations. When I say Christmas decorations, he was actually putting a banner that read Happy Birthday though. He had ticks out the word birthday and replaced it in scratchy biro with Christmas. Raj carefully stepped down off the ladder to help Ben with his search. Your plumbing weekly, let me think. You have, you looked beside the toffee bonbons, said Raj. Yes, replied Ben. And it's not underneath the colouring books, no. And you have checked behind the penny shoes, yes. Well, this isn't this is mysterious. I know. I ordered one in for you, for you, young Ben. Hmm, very mysterious. Raj was speaking extremely slowly in that way. People do when they are thinking. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Ben. I know you love it, but I don't have a clue where it is. I do have a special offer on Cornetto. It's November, Raj. It's freezing outside, said Ben. Who would want to eat a cornetto now? Everyone, when, everyone, when they hear my special offer, wait until you hear this. Buy 23 cornettos, get one for free. Why on earth would I want 24 cornettos, said Ben with a laugh. Um, well, I don't know. You could maybe eat 12 and put the other 12 in your pocket to enjoy later. 
that's a lot of Cornetto Dwarge. Why are you so keen to get rid of them? They go out of date tomorrow, said Raj, as he lumbered over to the freezer cabinets, lid open the glass top and pulled out a cardboard box of Cornettos. A freezing cold mist immediately shred shredded the shop. Look best for 15th of November. Ben studied the box. It says best before 15th of November 1996. Well, said Raj, even more reason to put them on special offer. Okay, Ben, this is my final offer. Buy one box of Cornettos, I'll give you ten boxes absolutely free. Really, Raj? No thanks, said Ben. He peered into the freezer cabinet to see what else might be lurking in there. It had never been defrosted, and Ben wouldn't have been surprised to find a perfectly preserved woody mammoth from the ice age inside. Hang on, he said, as he moved a few frost in purest ice on his out of the way. It's in here, Plummy Weekly. Ah, uh, yes, I remember now, said Raj. I put it in there to keep it fresh for you. Fresh? said Ben. Well, young man, the magazine comes out on a Tuesday, but it's Friday today, so I put it in the freezer to keep it fresh for you, Ben. I didn't want it to go off. Ben wasn't sure how any magazines could ever go off. But he thanked the news agent anyways. Anyway, that's very kind of you, Raj. And I'll have a pocket of Rolos, please. Packet of Rolos, please. I can offer you 73 packets of Rolos for the price of 72, exclaimed the news agent with a smile. That was meant to entice. No thanks, Raj. 1,000 packets of Rolos for the price of 990. No thanks, said Ben. Are you mad, are you mad Ben? That's a wonderful offer. Alright, alright, you drive it a hard bargain, Ben. Bargain, Ben. One million and seven packets of Rolos for the price of a million and four. That's three packets of Rolos, absolutely free. I'll just take one packet and the magazine, thank you. Of course, young sir. I can't wait to get stuck into plumbing Week, uh, weekly later. I have to go and spend the whole night with my boring old granny again. It has been a week since Ben last visited and dreaded Friday had rolled around once more. His parents were going to see a chick flick, according to his mum. Romance and kissing and all that goo. Yuckety yuck yuck. Tut, 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 said Raj, shaking his head as he counted out Ben's change. Ben instantly felt ashamed. He had never seen a news agent do this before. Like all the other local kids, Ben regarded Raj as one of us. One of them, one, one of us, not one of them. He was so full of life and laughter, Raj seemed a word, world away from his, from parents and teachers and all the grown-ups who felt they could tell you off because they were bigger than you. Just because your granny is old, young Ben. Old. Young Ben, said Raj, does it mean that she is boring? I'm getting on a bit myself. And whenever I have met your granny, I found her to be a very interested lady but don't be too hard on her ben pleaded raj we will all be old one day even you and i'm sure your granny will have a sequel or two old people always do and that was the end of chapter three um i hope you guys enjoyed it i will be back um friday with another um gangster granny book um, well, chapter. Um, please make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys Friday. Bye.